Welcome artists to your next installment of your color warm-ups. This is the second one we're going to do and we are going to create a no drama llama dedicated to my wife and my four girls. Enough said. So what we need here is we need analogous colors. What they are are that they are colors that would be close to each other on the color wheel. So think about the color wheel that we made yesterday. Analogous colors would be colors close to each other, like I said. So purple, blue, blue purple, or blue violet, and blue, those three colors are analogous. Now it doesn't just have to be three colors. It could be two colors that are close to each other. It could even be four colors. There's no hard, fast rule, but we are going to choose three colors that are close to each other on the color wheel. Now, in your set of colored pencils that you may have, you might not have these exact colors, and even if you do, they might not be named that way. So what you need to do is just dig through them. You, you may have, I have mine in a bin, I've got all these colored pencils, and I've got to dig through them and find the ones that I believe would be close to each other on the color wheel. What I want you to do though is be careful to get ones that are enough different that you can see the three different colors. So I've got a blue, I've got a um, what's called Orchid by Crayola, which is kind of a bluish, a reddish-ish purple, and I've got a violet. So these three colors, let's see what order I need to put them in. So I've got violet, and then I've got blue, which I think should be on this side. But the question is, is this more of a reddish purple or a bluish purple? And I think it's more reddish. So it's important the order you put them in. If it was a more bluish purple, I would have needed to stick it in between those two. But it's because it's a little more red, um, it goes on the other side. Cause you can, and you can refer to your color wheel, blue, purple, red, blue, purple, reddish. Okay, if that makes sense to you. I hope that it does. So we're going to put them in that order when we go to color our No Drama Llama. And this is really super simple. You might be thinking, how in the world are we going to draw a llama in just a few minutes to warm up? And the llama is very simple. It looks kind of like a fingertip at the top. We're just doing the head and a little bit of the neck. So it's going to come down like that. So see how it kind of looks like a finger? Maybe it's like a frog finger. And I've got a finger right there, isn't that ironic? And then you got to put these like curvy, kind of biggish ears on him. I guess they almost look like tops of bananas, but they're more round. Okay, so there's the ears, and you got to be careful to put the eyes like way out on the side. And they usually have eyelashes. Okay, and then you got to put his nose up high. Really simple. And then just this nice little mouth there. Okay. So there's our no drama llama. And the reason it's a no drama llama is because analogous colors go together. They work well together. If analogous colors live together, they would you know, when one of them got up to get a drink, he'd say, hey, man, you want a drink? And they'd be getting each other drinks, helping each other out, and living in harmony. Um, so that's, think of analogous as living together in harmony. They can blend together. They go over top of each other. They mix well together. That's how analogous colors work. We will talk about complementary colors, which get along really well, but they, they don't blend well together. So uh, that's the difference. So here's how we're going to do this. Now remember your order. So mine started with this color, this kind of more reddish purple. And I'm going to do one side of my llama. Think of it in thirds. I'm going to split them up into three parts. This is kind of my sh shadow color. So I'm going to make it a little darker on this side. Maybe do a little bit on this part of his ear, a little bit under his mouth here. Just nice and soft. Okay, and then I want my second color, which is my purple. 
And I want to let those blend a little bit together. I've got pretty good point on my purple here, so it doesn't work real well for blending. And I'm just going to go right over top of his mouth. I'm going to come back and outline everything with a black pen. On top of his ear there. Leave a little bit of white on top of his head. That's where the light's going to be hitting it. You see how as I blend these together, they really don't look bad. I mean, you just blend them right over top of each other and it still looks good, right? That's what analogous colors do. And then on our highlight side, which isn't truly a highlight because we're not really trying real hard, but it is a brighter color. So again, we're just blending everything together, letting them run over the top of each other. So I'll put a little bit above his nose maybe and go back with that mid purple and add a little more in there just for fun so think of analogous colors as being able to blend together without any problems there's no confrontation they're not arguing they're just living happily together and the last step, if you have a black pen, maybe a black marker, maybe you have a marker that's similar to one of the colors you chose, then you can outline your no drama llama. Oh. This is just an ink pen, so it doesn't, I'm not super happy about going over the waxy. Other pencils. You could actually do this step first if you wanted to. So there he is, or she, the new drama llama.